A few years back, I heard a story. It was told to me from people who were on the inside of it. And then I got curious, and I, I also looked through news sources. And Okay, the story goes something like this. Once upon a time, Bob Dylan, the cultural hero and folk icon, decided that he was going to change his style to include sounds made by an electric guitar, which he did in 1965 at the Newport Folk Festival. So shocked and dismayed was his formerly adoring audience that they booed him off the stage. Did it stop him from going electric? No. He's an artist, not a pandering entertainment monkey. He continued to play electric, and they got used to it. But the guitar that started this controversy went missing for many years. And then one day it resurfaced, and there were all of these claims that it had been stolen, and there was a big drama around it, and multiple players, and ultimately it was settled in court in 2013. It was then sold at Christie's auction house in New York for $965,000. At that time, it was among the most expensive guitars ever sold. What captured my imagination here is two things. First, the guitar is this holy grail of rock, a symbol of artistic boldness and risk. And at the time, it may have felt like a failure to take those risks, but then it turned out in the end to be a triumph of creative comeuppance. And two, the lost years of this guitar. What if it had a whole nother life when it went missing? So at the center of my story, which is fictional, is an imagining of the secret life of this holy grail of an instrument. 